Hi, it's Slater, aka Science Toymaker. This video is about how to make the large Mama Bug Air Surf Glider. Mama Bugs are noticeably more efficient flying than the smaller gliders. Just as in nature, large winged birds soar almost effortlessly. Smaller birds and insects do not glide well. Paradoxically, Mama Bugs are superior both for beginning and advanced flying. Their efficiency makes them the best design for hands-only flying. Students who engage in aerial combat, aka dog fighting, prefer the mama bug because it stays in the air so long. And yet it's a good glider to start beginners with because the slow flight gives them plenty of time to react. That said, the mama bug needs two pieces of foam, and some people might find taping the wings together challenging. But if you've already made the baby bug, the mama bug is quite similar. Print out the mama bug pattern, no scaling. The thin 0.5 millimeter foam that works so well for the smaller gliders is a bit flimsy for the giant mama bug. I suggest using the 0.65 millimeter foam that you can make or buy. If you really want to use the thinner foam, there is a workaround. It's at the end of this video. Rough cut out the pattern. Cut right to the corner where it says cut close. Put the corner exactly on the corner of the foam sheet. Pivot at that corner until you fit the pattern on the foam. Tape the ends. Fine cut the front and back, the long sides. Do not cut off the tape until all the folds are made. Put into a paperback book under the front cover with the dashed lines just peeking out. Fold down pretty firmly against the corner of the book to establish the fold. Don't go beyond where it says stop. Reposition and fold the elevon up against the cover. With both folds established, Cut the solid black lines on the ends with the tape. Cut the straight line very carefully because that's where it'll join the other wing. Put the wings together and stick about five centimeters of tape on top, lengthwise. Stick another shorter piece on further back. It's a bit flimsy now. Taping the bottom is tricky because we're gonna make the dihedral then. Fold the top surfaces together. Put half the tape on the bottom of one wing half. The other half sticks out. With the wing upside down, put the not yet taped half at the edge of a table. The other wing half bends down a little off the edge. Push the tape down on the other half. It stays bent. That makes your dihedral. If the angle is too much or too little, you can still bend it at the joint. Adjust the angles that you folded earlier. The back angle should be 45 degrees up from horizontal. Make sure the foam is not just springing back. There's a different gauge for the front camber. There's a bit less camber bend at the wing tips. I provide a little bit of wire with a thicker foam I send out only to get you started. Thin utility wire or floral wire works well for front weight. I bend the end so it doesn't poke someone in the eye. You can also use paper strips for weight. You should know from adjusting the baby bug that if the glider dives, bend the wire back more and or cut off weight. If it stalls, bend the wire forward and or add weight. Correct turning by bending the opposite elevon up more. If you're only flying straight, the glider's finished, but if you need to turn, adding vertical wing tips will improve turning greatly. Mark 12 millimeters from the end of the wing. Cut to 12 millimeters on the elevon fold. Use a straight edge to bend the wing 
but not the elevon, up 90 degrees. If the vertical tip gets in the way of adjusting the elevon, cut off the back corner. There's also a pattern with the vertical tip worked in. So far I've been talking about the mama bug with a simple single front camber fold. But if you want slightly more efficiency, there's a pattern with five folds for a smoother curve. The secret is to bend very hard on the dotted lines when only a little foam is sticking out so it's difficult to bend. Then at the dashed lines more is sticking out so it's easier to bend but there you need to bend more gently. There's a gauge on the pattern to help you get a good curve either from above or from below. The gauge is designed to measure the curve from the elevon to the front as indicated by the line on the pattern. There's a little less curve at the wing tips. I don't mind gliders that are a little floppy, but if they're too floppy, you can make them more rigid by taping wing spars at the camber folds. A very thin piece of balsa or bamboo would work. I'll show you how to do it with a plastic drinking straw since they're so common. First cut about 11 centimeters of straw lengthwise in half then cut it in half again to a quarter. The straw slice goes right on the camber fold. The end goes right to the seam. Three small pieces of tape hold it down. It might not be necessary, but a bit of glue where the spars meet will make it even more rigid. With the extra weight, you can probably cut off some of the front weight. There's another video about hands only flying and aerial combat. Stay in touch. It's encouraging to know of your challenges and successes. If you create turbulence and this thing crashes, I'm going to break down into you. Who? Me? Huh? Anybody. You made it down there, huh? Yeah.